face to face I couldn't find the words to say Give me one more move I don't even know her name I guess foolish pride's to blame Now I'm falling in love as she's walking away And my heart won't tell my mind My fellow American, my name is Thomas Gage and I reside in Warren, New Jersey. As you all know, we just have re-elected Governor Chris Christie as our governor again. I don't know for the rest of the residents of New Jersey what the next four years is going to be, but I know for sure that my family and I for the next four years will be continually victimized by the injustice of the court system in New Jersey and Chris Christie will do nothing about it in our case because Chris Christie in our case believes that my family, three generations of veterans, does not deserve the due process of law. Well, he has been informed about my case many times and he has shown no interest in do something about this. I do not believe that, that our governor Chris Christie cares about our constitution. That's what I got from my case. So I hope that our governor Chris Christie is not going to run for president. I definitely would not vote for him if he's going to run for president. I do vote for Rand Paul. Rand Paul is the one that since now shows the interest to comply with the Constitution laws. He's the one that will bring some change in our country as we do need it as do we need to go back to the constitution laws if we want to keep our freedom and I think I believe that so far I hope that Rand Paul is not going to disappoint my family that he will keep what he's saying to keep the constitution of this great nation, the United States of America, alive. Okay? Well, I do believe that my family, a three generation of veteran war, deserve the due process of law when we bring a case in court. So far, the right the due process of law that we have provided for generation to others has been denied to us. The District Court of Trenton, Judge Fred Walson, is keeping denying the meaningful chance to justice to me and my family. I have provided overwhelming criminal evidence before her and the clerk office of the district court of criminal evidence accusable by the United States court. Now what I'm doing today here I'm gonna follow up on a case that they have filed which is here. This case has been filed in the district court okay dated Four fourteen two thousand thirteen. You can see here on the top. This case has been filed as I am a private attorney general in the district court of New Jersey under legal lo laws. The case number is thirteen. 
dash CV dash O two two five six. And once again, the clerk office of Trenton have assigned this case to this district judge Fred Walson, which after many time I have requested this excusal of the judge and they are still ignoring my requests and that is annoying anyway this since it was filed in April 15 today again nothing nothing has been yet done in this case okay now who are the defendants in this case? Okay, the defendants are Nicholas Jake Canova, Fian Soch Kane Shepherd Law Firm, Mary C. Jackson, Frank Jen J. Provenzano, a sheriff that used to be uh, used to have been re elected, a criminal sheriff. His sheriff, Frank Provenzano, is corrupt. He failed to do his duty. I request him an investigation in my case. He refused it. He is the check balance law of a county, supreme law of the county. He refuses to do his job. In fact, he's dead to do his job even against me and stole my property on August 8th. 2011. I have been showing you all the bogus, fraudulent, and forged documents that Frank Provenzano had provided to use and steal my property. And this is a fact. And nobody, no federal authority, no other authority, state authority, is doing nothing about it. I'm wondering why. Are we are living in a free country where the law, the law, the nation under law? Are we? I have some doubts. I'm experiencing the first hand in my cases. Anyway, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna call the district court clerk office to get, an to get a statement of my case. Because since I filed this case, on April 15, I follow in April 22nd a motion requesting rule of 201 judiciary notice of adjudicative effect and impalement of a special grand jury. Here he is it. Okay, you can see. All right, this one here is still pending since April 22nd. 2013. I'm much longer I have to wait for this. Okay. Again, that was not yet. I'm not done yet. On May 20, okay, on May 20, I filed another motion. Okay. And this motion is to do with judiciary notice demands the excusal of the street judge Fred Walson and impalement of grand jury. Again, to make sure that the, the district judge Fred Walson will not be assigned again to my case, I follow judiciary notice. Okay, so far I have no idea what happened with this. It's still pending. Okay, now after that, the only I file another motion June 3rd 2013 and this is has to do with the third party complaint on this complaint I'm aiding on my case a state judge Thomas Miller and the clerk office of the Superior Court in Trenton Jennifer Lopet because they are officers of the court who, who they are bound by the auto office okay, to the United States 
and to state of New Jersey Constitution. And what they, this company is about is that they refuse, they ignore the fact that someone have signed the legal name on a document as the D of conveyance of my property, the fraud on D, and the alleged fourth order court to evict us, my family, on August 8, 2011. So these people, they have knowledge that they have never signed those people, but they are concealing the fact that their signature, their legal signature, has been used by others to produce bogus documents. So they are, this is what they are doing now, concealing the crime. So they have been aided on that because the violation of their oath. Now, you're gonna see after this this video I'm talking here. I'm gonna you're gonna, it's gonna proceed with the a documentary that I did in regard to my rule of 201 judiciary notice that I'm asking the court, you know, about what they're doing about it. So I'm explaining what the document is now. Since the court has not taken action on that, but the defendant uh, attorney uh, of El Fargo Bank, as after default, okay, has uh, been allowed to reply and uh, on my complaint. Now, I received this package, okay, and this package is from the attorney of El Fargo Bank. Is from Hauser and Allison, okay. Attorney at law, one getaway center, suite 2500, okay. Newark, New Jersey, to Thomas Gage, to me. And what is it in this package? I can open here to you. There you go. Is a motion filed by the attorney of El Fargo to dismiss my case as I just said it was filed on April I mean on April 15th okay and this document here says that here okay she signed says that uh, in connection uh, this officer represent the defense of El Fargo Bank in connection with the above caption matter Enclosed here, and please find a copy of defendant motion to dismiss plaintiff complaint, together with the supporting document. It's important this because now she has supporting document to dismiss my case. Okay, now this case. So besides that, she has a, not uh, really the caption there. In this case, is a, I am a private attorney general. So this case makes it doing that title makes a criminal case. It's not any more civil. So, and this is their filing. And I have only received this. I have not received any text from the court that really proves that this file, this motion has been filed. So I'm gonna call the clerk office as I'm speaking here to find out if this really was filed. Why I'm still doing that? Because I'm going to show you something. This motion, okay, that has been presented to the district court, contain support evidence, okay, of false, bogus, fraudulent, forged document, and her all here. Exhibit one, two. Ten, I believe eleven. Okay, one to eleven. One to eleven. These exhibits are exactly, look, exactly the same document that I am yes, requesting and under Rule Two Hundred One, evidence, evidence hearings, evidence hearings, to talk about this document which are fraudulent, forger, and token. So, if this case has been filed, this motion has been filed, the attorney here, 
a discourse file for that from the court because asking the court to dismiss my case by providing the court with fraudulent bogus forged document and that is its obstruction of justice conspiracy on commit fraud upon the court and the court knows as you hear you're going to hear in this tape that there is a pending motion that I file under rule of one that proves exactly the document that the Fargo Bank and the chef Frank Provenzan used to steal my property Icarus Boulevard Warren, New Jersey were fraudulent forged bogus document and the, the only way they could steal my property it was to use this document because by providing the, through the true process of law no way they could steal my property because I am the only legitimate owner that's called the process of law the two process of law entitled me as a legitimate owner of my property that's been stolen from us. What do you think they, why they have to produce all this bogus fraudulent document? The only reason to produce the fraudulent and bogus and fraud document is to steal our properties because they can do it through the true process of law. Okay? Now I'm gonna call this record, I'm gonna ask the status of my case okay and you're gonna hear this okay I'm writing the number Yes, I am calling in regard to my case number 13 CV 2256. Okay. Yes, I would like to, uh, to know the status of uh, since my case was filed in April 15, 2013, and since today, I would like to know my, what happened with my motion that I filed uh, in regard to, let me see the pages here. The motions haven't been decided yet. Yeah, they're all pending. I just want to go over which one they are because it's been a long time and uh, you know I have no ever uh, an idea. So one was filed on April 22nd. The motion was for uh, rule 201. That one, that one was? Hello? I'm looking. Hold on, please. Sure. How that could be because I didn't receive any any text that was denied and then also no opinion about it and I'm still waiting I'm st for me it's still pending well the judge entered a text order I don't know if they sent it to you or not um, you would have to take up that issue with the judge who's the judge Judge Wolfson. Uh, she was supposed to be dis disqualified from my cases I have I have also said uh, uh, file motion by that. I have not received any record. So, so far I have not received any record in this case. Well, the, that motion was also denied in that text order. So, um, I don't know if they copied you on it. I, I don't know. You would have to take that up with the judge. Well, uh, okay, I will do that. I mean, I mean in fact, so also, uh, the, there is a, I received a copy of a motion filed by the defendant attorney, Will Fargo. Has that been filed? What motion? Well, it's, uh, uh, since that uh, 
I receive a copy of a, a motion filed by what kind of motion? to dismiss my case by a third yes, that was filed. When? October 31st. I didn't receive any text about that. I have not received any record that they will receive it. I would like to have from your office since well, that was sent to you. By when? On the first. Okay, so it should be in the mail. Say oh today it's the sixth. Usually I get it in the mail after the day. Well, it was sent to you. Okay, so you you are saying to me that all the uh, all you, you what you say it's true. What am I saying? Yeah, the record is true. What you say in my case, my motion has been dismissed, and I'm putting your record that you uh, have no knowledge about the motions. And also, okay, the judge entered a text order. I didn't. I okay, did not, can did you? Not do that. All right, can you please re send me all all what happened since April fifteen? To, to, the, to this day, I want all the records. Okay. So please send that because I have to take action this. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> if you just uh, hear it, my case has been dismissed, my motion has been dismissed. You just hear it. Okay. So I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay. I've been here waiting waiting every day I have received nothing okay so what I supposed to do is there anybody out there that would like to help me in this case how I supposed to get justice when the system I show you is corrupt okay corrupt now I have been denied the right to have the under the rule 201 right now they just said that that, that that this one is you know if you heard it, it's been filed okay now you have to wait the result in my case I tell you they already planned this to dismiss my case it's obvious all right it's obvious I haven't received no record not so ever well Enjoy the following because I'm gonna show you the record of the crime. And please contact the US attorney time to do his job. Contact your senator, your congressman, and tell him what's 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 happening here. My fellow American, if we don't have a court that works, we have no freedom. And that's it. No justice, no freedom. How can we be a civilization people? There are laws. So enjoy the following video. Thank you for listening. I know it's gonna be, it's gonna be a little long, but please watch it all. Thank you. Thank you for watching.
appendix motion uh, uh, that you are about to see they were filed and since April 2000 April uh, 22nd 2013 since today is still pending today is uh, August 1st 2013 so this is how long as this motion has been pending in the district court and no action has been taken now, what you're gonna see, uh, you're gonna hear the a call that I made to find out the status of this. Here it is. Yes, I. Uh, I would like to get an update on my case. My case number is my case number is thirteen twenty two fifty six. FLW dash DA. I'm sorry, D E A. Looks like the last thing that was filed was a motion for judicial notice of injunctive facts and impoundment of grand jury. Yes. And the, that was the last thing that was filed, and it, the motion was set for May 20th. Yeah, because I didn't receive any text back, so I don't know. Also, that I sent the, the same day was another package in regard of uh, uh, sums that were incorrect, that were supposed to be correct. And there okay, is, yeah, it says they will be issued. They were, okay, so because I didn't receive an email yet, so it's been a long time. So, okay. so, uh, so that's been mailed out? Yeah. All right, so I've been waiting there. Okay, thank you yeah. for your help. Okay. You're welcome. If you can see here, this is the motion here. A uh, motion was filed under Rule 201 Judicial Notice of Adjudicate Facts and Impediment of Special Grand Jury. All right. So the defendant here, again, is a private attorney general, is, is Thomas Gage, is the plaintiff, uh, Somerset County Sheriff Frank Provenzano and State uh, Judge Mary Jackson, Attorney Nicholas Cason, uh, Canova, Attorney Greg Tabigin, uh, Fanny Soch, Kent uh, Shepard, uh, Wells Fargo Bank, they are all the defendants in this case. All right, if you see that, and then the date was April 22nd, 2013. All right. I file as a private attorney general, Thomas Gage. All right. Now, what you're gonna see here, uh, this is all the the rules, uh, notice of judicial judicial facts that says uh, taking no the court, by taking no the court on its own, uh, must take judiciary notice. Uh, if a party requested and the court is supplied with the necessary information this is what I did, I supply all the necessary information and uh, I still, didn't, uh, still I have not got any response from the court since April 22nd which then it was a motion was set for May 7 as you heard in the tape all right see the timing you know all that the court can read it on now so this was filed uh, and still pending in court okay we're gonna get to the point that where the plaintiff the evidence Okay. The, therefore, private attorney general requests a formal evidence hearing. The special grand jury organized crime. All right. The exhibit was uh, submit A, B, C, D, E, and H, I, J, and P, Q, R, S. This is what they submitted. 
this is all the titles okay remember all right let's specific the laws everything so all this well documented as a conclusion I stated that they say bit A B C D and H I J and P Q R S are clear evidence of action or perjury, fraud, forgery, robbery, breach of trust, dishonesty, abuse of process, intentional wrong, ignoring the law, obstruction of justice and violation of the oath office committed by the defendant and office of the court in this case, therefore plaintiff requests impanelment of a special grand jury for organized crime in this case. Again, date April 22, 2013, respectful submitted proper Thomas Gage. Sign it. As you're gonna be see now is a exhibit. This exhibit are before the court as I speak. And knowing that I'm a victim of crime, knowing that I, my problem has been stolen since 2011, and nothing has got done. Okay, exhibit A. This is a fraudulent D. Okay, in regard of Wells Fargo or trustee on the polling. This deed came after they stole my property, uh, after they went through a, a forgery, bogus uh, deed from the sheriff. They passed, they sold my house, my property, to a new owner, uh, uh, Luke Anderson L. Lefferton. Okay, what? This document here, you're about to see, it's, it's fraud on the because was. Uh, signed by a Nicholas MC, which is unknown. This is a rubber signer. This uh, this is not no. It must be an employee. Oh, but I couldn't find in any record of uh, this person. Okay. Now besides that, okay, the fraudulent D, uh, which allowed the new. Uh, alleged new owner of my my property. It's you know it's a, my property has been stolen. So it's like when they stole your car, it's all it's, it's still yours property. So I don't know I don't know how they they've been allowed to resell my property after being stolen. Okay, this exactly says here at uh, 51 Ilcrest Boulevard, Warren, which is my property. All right, this is a uh, Robert. Uh, Senior manager of uh, Ocean Loan Serving. It's nothing. It's not either Wells Fargo, all right. So Wells Fargo has nothing to do with these people. And then they say they own my mortgage and sold it. So Orange County, all right. What you're about to see here, you see the sign here, is a forger signed by Notary Republic. Now this is a bit. Hey, when you're gonna get to the, the let's say a bit, uh, which is a, uh, uh, I believe. Uh, R R in this following year, you will see the real signature of the notary public. So this is a forged sign. This is not uh, so. This document has been registered in the county Somerset. It's a bogus document, all right? And that's there. Are, this is why it's a felony. Okay, this allowed the defendant um, Anderson to purchase a stolen property. Okay, this is a description of the land here. Again, this is my land. Lot 18, block 8601, Warren Township. Okay, this is the document that allowed Mr. Anderson to purchase my property that was stolen from me on August 8, 2011, by a forced eviction by Sheriff Frank Provenzano without a court order by the court order so and then that's the consequence they obtain a mortgage from a millennium mortgage so another fraud happened because of a bank had been fraud again all right that's a document clearly you know was uh, filed 
in Somerset County. Now, the next is a bit we're gonna go. This is Thomas Miller. Uh, is is a, is a judge Somerset County. Is a judge. Okay. Now it used to be the attorney of Somerset County. And this signature here. Keep this one here in mind. This is the real officer signature of Thomas Miller. So this signature here, and then the following signature here proves that how Thomas Miller signs the document. Okay, official document. And by by the way, this is not the deed involved in my case, but it shows you the real signature because. Uh, you see here, America Debit uh, Forgiveness Act. Uh, this is for Robin Sign. This is a list, but you can find uh, Robin Sign uh, already been found by the federal authority to be a Robin Signer, and uh, who were not authorized to sign a document in the current mortgage uh, foreclosure. All right, this is the list. You're gonna go through here. And this document uh, has been before uh, the street judge uh, uh, Walson document here, Superior Court, New Jersey. Certification for additional funds due plaintiff. Now, it has nothing to do with the Fargo Bank. Now, this says here, I am a vice president. Okay, I was a vice president of uh, Berkeley Capital Real Estate Home Servicing Authority, in fact, to plaintiff. This is not a affidavit from an employee from the Fargo Bank. This you can see here as a robot signer. Okay, this person doesn't exist. There is no names. We don't know who's the who's supposed to be the president, the, pres the vice president of uh, Home Equity Servicing at that day. Okay, this was dated June 17, 2010. Okay, so this is a August document. Somebody uh, just made up this document for the purpose to use in court and steal my property. AJ, all right. This one here shows that uh, a similar form. Okay, Fain, such that. Okay. I filed this as a certification of a man due in support of entry of the final judgment. Now, Mikhail M. Corti. All right, who is this Mikhail Corti? I mean, this is guy. This is the, the this is a rubber signer. This is a, an employee of a home survey serving. You know, he's saying that he's an attorney, in fact, and survey agent. All right. And there's nothing to do with Fargo. There's not about Wells Fargo or it's an imposter. Okay. And this is Robert Signer. Okay. Mikhail Curtis. All right. That's the title who signed it. Which is fine to be a Robert Signer. It's on a list. So who's these people? Okay, Robert Signer. See again. So you can see that again. Exhibit K. We got the CBK here. Hereby certified that the country is not subject to court proceeding and petition. All right, and this is see this signature here. This is a exhibit to show you the real signature of Nicolas Canova. All right, so he signed it here twice in the same paper. All right, uh, and I say here it doesn't match because the reason doesn't match is because the next document. Is about important document document for foreclosure. Okay, this is Supreme Court uh, certification of Nicola Casanova. Now this Nicola's supposed to certify here this document. Nicola Casanova does hereby certified. I am an attorney employee by the law firm of Fain and such. Uh, he certified that you need to sign it, right? So such a he says all that. I certify for giving the statement made by me are true. I am aware that they for now who's this signature here? This doesn't match. This signature is not from Nicolas. I can know. So it doesn't match with the previous. So this document needs to be investigated because it's a forged signature on this document. And there were some made in court for purpose of obtaining a judgment okay, against me to steal my property. I, have, I was not aware of all this. 
Okay, now we go to exhibit B. Okay, exhibit B. This is it. With, okay, it's about to show you uh, to show the court how Frank Provenzano, the sheriff of Somerset County, signs his officer official signature on the document. This is okay. This signature here. So this signature here is supposed to be on the D. They swear to be truly okay document to convoy my property hmm? to take away my property from me and give it to somebody else right so this is the signature of the real official signature of Frank Provenzano is here you're gonna compare this to the on the deed okay again now the next document also is gonna show right this is Frank J. Provenzano, this is what he signed it. This is a forgery. This is not our Frank Provenzano official signature. This one here doesn't match Thomas Miller signature. This is a forgery signature. This is not Thomas Miller. So, but it says here, and he saw a fourth day of October 20th. This is somebody did this. This is not from Frank Provenzano and Thomas Miller on. On the fourth day of October, they were not present to do this document. Again, here, this document here, the signature here, it's a forger. All the signature does not match our forger, right? And then, and this document here, supposed to be a dandy copy of the original that was filed in Somerset County for register, you know, the D, right? So when you go to the next one here, with this one here, over here, this one here, Thomas Me is not. Now the next one down here, the following document is the same document that says the same thing. It's supposed to be identic, right? And now you got the different this this doesn't match with this document here, this doesn't match with this document here. So which is supposed to be an identical document because possibly copies. Right? And the same thing. Now the bottom see this one here is good. I'll show you the bottom. See, this one's complete out of control. Look at this. Thomas Miller here, and Thomas Miller here. It doesn't match here. And this document is says, I swear before me, an attorney at law of New Jersey, on this fourth day of October, in the year of the Lord, 2010, I do certify that I have examined the above deed mention and to approve the same and order it to be recorded that's good it's sufficient conveyancing of the land really so that was supposed to be good so this is a, a, a bogus document filed in the you know in somerset county for the purpose to steal my property and when uh, this document and are before the three court uh, uh, judge fred walson she has many times received this same habit, okay, and she ignored it, right? Now, Florida Department of State, I wrote a letter, right, and then I request for uh, the document of the notary. Remember the exhibit A I showed you before? Uh, to see if the, the sign matched. Uh, guess what? The match. Now you're going to see yourself, okay? This is the way you're going to see how notary of uh, state of Jersey, Florida Christine Figuera right which is supposed to be the notary who sold and signed this is the signature of her this signature doesn't match with the exhibit A okay so it tells you that she never signed a witness the assignment of uh, the deed to the alleged uh, new owner of my property Mr. And Mr. Anderson so as the real uh, signature right again here Christine or she signed again down here at this point okay here state of Florida 
Okay. Christina M. Figuerera. Right. And then how she signed it. The com this is her signature here. Yeah. This one here does not match with the exhibit A. The real officer signature, supposed of Christine, the notary Christine Figuerera, is this. So if you go and see it A, you compare the signature, the signature doesn't match, but you mean who signed it, the deed, though a record in the Somerset County it was a forger, and the document is bogus. Okay, well, this is the exhibit, they are right now filed before the district court in Trenton as a motion under Rule 201. Okay, so and I'm still waiting. This is as uh, this motion was filed April 22nd, 2013, and today is August 1st, 2013. And nothing, no action has been taken by the district court. It seems to me the district court is ignoring the fact that I am a victim, I have been robbed of my property, and every day I'm being victimized. Okay? And the court is breaching its fiduciary duty, is denied me a chest to, minimal chest to the jury. Okay? And the court cannot deny me evidence in hearing. Okay? They can just not do that. So I'm waiting for this motion to go through it. This is what you saw here as you saw of the criminal of felonies document. There are more. There are a false court order, a bogus court order where came they used to come to my house. There's more document that you're gonna see in future videos. Okay. This one here is the actually alleged court order that Frank uh, uh, Provenzano, Chef Frank Provenzano, used to come to my house on my property on August 8, 2011, and force evict me and my family tenants from the home and eventually let vandalize all the belongings our belongs that were in a house and the business materials of, of the company that were the tenant in the house. So those uh, there is a tape on uh, there is a YouTube uh, uh, video online they can we can see and check for corrupt officer of Warren Township you will find out the details what happened that day. Anyway this is the Somerset County Sheriff. You can see his uh, official signage. This is the office sign. This was Frank Provence on the sign. Okay. Remember this uh, one here, the alleged signature here, the August. This was uh, 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 alleged like August the second day of August uh, 2011, and um, this court order was not signed, as the uh, sheriff said, by a judge. Alleged it was supposed to be supposed to be the judge C Mary C Jacobson. Okay, that's what they're saying. She signed this paper, but she never saw it. It's uh, that's what the the record says. Okay, now the other the other uh, fact is that um, if you remember, I show you this uh, paper here. Uh, which I said you this is a forgery signature. This is not Jennifer Perez, acting clerk of Somers of a Superior Court. Okay, signature. Anyway, it's illegal anyway, either if it was because it was supposed to be single and signed for the judge. It's first order. And uh, I can show you the stamp here, this one here. Uh, this is the real signature of the clerk office. When you request a document from the from the uh, acting clerk of uh, of Superior Court in Trenton, that's why she's gonna sign it. Okay, that's the way the office signs it. So the court order was a bogus. I asked the sheriff the other day, uh, you know, who signed it. He, he 
they came over there with the intention to to throw me in the street uh, and that was their goal to do what I, you know they took all the where our court, all the where everything it used to be goes there to teach me a lesson that I was not supposed to mess up with the with the members of the law from De Francesco, okay, who is the best friend of our governor Chris Christie. This is Frank Provenzano, legal, real official signature. The real official signature, okay? This one here, again, Frank Provenzano, the real official signature, okay? This is, this is the oath of Thomas Miller, he's now a judge, okay? Who swear to support the Constitution, okay? Now this is the real signature of Thomas C. Miller, okay? And then you compare it, okay? You compare it here, compare it here, compare it here, okay? Compare it with this one here, huh? This one here, the no match with this one, this one, this one, the other page is not the identic, and different pages, a different document was supposed to be the same identic document. They've been filed through uh, district court, uh, state court, and appellate court. And there be uh, the felonies. This document is a felony.